Hello, my name is Ian Dean. Today I'm going to talk about some of the tools that have been added in MeshBaker version 2.8.2 that make configuring multiple materials much faster and easier. Um, so let's jump right in. Um, if you want a more comprehensive uh, tutorial on t t uh, um, configuring trees and multiple materials in general, look at, at the previous video. Uh, this one just focuses on, on some of the new tools that have been added. So here I've got a scene with a bunch of trees in it. Um, I've got my mesh baker component created. I'm going to add some objects here. So let's um, open tools for adding objects. I'm going to add the MacArthur palm, or I'm going to add these mangrove trees and these Orlander trees. Uh, to this mesh paper maker object. So I can just drag them to the slots, but it's a little faster to use the tools. So I have to find um, one of these materials. I'm going to add objects using that material. Then, so we've added uh, those two mangroves. Let's add these two mangroves. So if I pick that material, Add selected meshes. If I look at my mesh baker, okay, we've got mangrove three and mangrove six. Let's add these Orlanders. Uh, why is it? Oh, I have to pick this one. Okay. Um, let's go here. Select all. Add selected meshes. Now, if I look there, so you can see it's added all these. Now, the main difference. Um, the main feature that's been added is this button build source to combine mapping from objects to be combined. So um, you may remember previously um, it, it was fairly labor intensive to uh, to add um, mappings. You had to click these buttons and, and configure, uh, create a bunch of materials and drag them to the slots. This basically automates that process. Uh, and what it does is it looks at the materials on these objects and the shaders on the materials and then it creates mappings that group those automatically. So if I click this button, um, why did it do nothing? Oh, I need a material, material baked results. So, um, Create empty assets for combined materials. So, uh, new material. And now, if I click that button, there. So you can see it's um, created a new material here that has three soft occlusion leaves. And if I go back here, um, and it's put all the material, mapped all the materials that use tree soft occlusion leaves to that. And then it's created another one that's ATS soft occlusion bark, and it's mapped all the bark materials to that one. There's also an oddball. Um, this Orlander bark uses tree soft occlusion bark, not ATS soft occlusion bark. So I could leave it like this and bake it this way. It'll bake three sub meshes. Or if I if I want to force um, this Orlander bark to use the same shader as the other one, I can just manually edit this. Uh, get that Orlander bark, drag it in here, and then I don't need the last one. So now I've got my two shaders. So this is a much faster way to configure um, your meshes than uh, or to configure multiple materials than the old way where you had to do a lot more dragging and, and manually setting the shader yourself. Anyway, that's um, all I wanted to show in this video.